Tommy, cold, wet, pretty miserable out there, but hopefully training's been a bit better this week. How's it been? Yeah, bright and breezy. Like you said, the weather's been a little bit on the dark and the dank side, but the quality of the training sessions that the lads have put on uh, and the energy that we've seen in it has been really good. So um, good to see that after, obviously, a disappointing result at the weekend. One particularly disappointing performance I didn't feel, and the result maybe has flattered the opposition slightly, I, I do believe. So we're not too, as we never are, we're never too downhearted when we've had a reverse. Um, we look, look forward to trying to get back at it uh, at Oxford on Saturday. Seems the majority of weeks this year, calendar year, have been Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. So has it been quite nice to have a, a full week with the with the group? Yeah, it gets us to have a little bit more contact time with them on the training ground. But I think at this stage of the season, it's about keeping them fresh. They've all, they're all fit and well, other than the ones who are injured, of course. But even that, uh, I think there'll be an exodus from Liam's room very, very soon. So when numbers will be swelled. Um, but yeah, I think it's been a really positive week. I don't think, I think this group sort of, they just move on. It's like a, it's like a, for want of a better expression, it's like a race or a steeplechase. We, you know, we, we hit a fence, we've got to get back up. We've got to run, we've got to get, get on the horse and go again. So um, that's the way it is. We now definitely are entering the sort of, the running as it were, what is there, 11, 11 games left. So it's still a quarter of the season and there's a lot of points to be had. Our opposition this weekend is obviously Oxford, the, the team that we started this season off. I'm sure it will be a bit different affair from that first game of the season though, won't it? Both teams will have been yeah. very different to that. Yeah, I mean, look, people will look at the table and assume that we, could go, we can go there and win. But look, they held, they held Southend themselves nil nil a couple of weeks ago. They've got a really good brand of the way they try and play the game. They've stuck to their principles. They haven't chucked money at anything. They, they know what they are. Um, and we expect a tough game. There's no easy games in this. And, and like we always say, if we can take a point, great. If we can take three, then excellent. But we'll we be going there trying to win the game the same as we do every other game. You mentioned about Liam's room. Um, obviously, Jack is now in there. Do we have an update on him yet? Well, it's good news in that there's no structural damage to Jack. So he hasn't had to have any um, surgery um, on, on the medical front. Obviously, people know now that AJ is done for the season. Unfortunately, he had to have a bit of a clean up in his, in his knee, which was a little unforeseen. Um, it wasn't the original injury he got. He, he went down in training, having come back from his ankle injury, and then something happened in his knee. But so that's that. But we've got Theo's days away, I would say. Um, Ollie Scott's probably less than days away, and then we've got Christian Magoma now on the training ground with the lads. And it's it's a, it, we're delighted as a staff to see him, you know, with the main group. Um, so hopefully we'll get to see him as well before the end of the season. Um, but at this moment in time, obviously, Jack and AJ are the ones that we have to say are a little further away than anything. Talking about those injuries, and especially Christian's one, there's been a few this season, haven't there, where they've just been so unfortunate and unlucky. Yeah. And But credit to, you know, Brad and Liam, those those lads and, and the interns there mm -hmm. as well, Reese and, and John, because they've put the work in, haven't they? And, Massively. And, and oh, really, listen, yeah. I'm indebted to them, lads. We haven't moaned at all this season about the lack of numbers. But if you look back at the squad and and how it's changed or d developed from day one to now, and the people who are possibly not in the 16 or maybe have left and moved on from the club, it's, I feel we're a stronger squad from, from what we started with. And, you know, that's a testament. And we have, we've had, Liam's had some real work to do this year. It's not been little injuries. There's been a hell of a lot of surgery gone on. And that's, that's not something we've experienced as a staff, certainly me and Hugo together. And we, we seem to have had reoccurrences of stuff which we don't know. We don't know. Maybe change from surface from training to play. We don't know. Um, but listen, every team will, will say to you they've got injury problems. We've never moaned about it. We've just got on with it, mm. with a little bit of luck. With the, with the when the when the tape starts coming up over the horizon and we can see the finish line, we might well have a, a really a really strong group to finish with. Well, that's it, and it has been credit to the lads as well because those that have filled in have, mm. have been brilliant, and the depth in the squad has been mm. great, hasn't it? Yeah, I've got to thank the people upstairs as well for backing us and letting us bring in the loans, like you know, like James and Roland most recently. So, yeah, it's it's a, it's a squad game. We've said this all along. It's still, and he keeps hanging in there. Only only one player that's played every minute of every game, uh, and that's a hell of an achievement from him physically, you know. Um, and it's testament to the way he's been prepared and looked after by our staff. That's both the technical staff and the and the medical staff. But we, you know, we we don't get medals for that. That's part and parcel. You know, when I played, there was probably sixteen blokes, and you shared the games, the forty odd games between you. But this, and I said it from the day one, this is a lot of it's uncharted territory for a lot of our players. Um, so whilst it's a, it's a good position to be in where we are now, we, we don't look at it as this, the end result. We're looking at this as part of the process from improving on last season's 
finish. And we've done that, but we don't want to rest on that. We want to push on and, and keep going if we can.